that time, I had been hired by, by the clinic director that was there. And uh, he asked me to, uh, he asked me if I would work in helping him um, formulate some type of a, comp of a program to add to the existing clinic. And the program itself would, all, would be um, for, to find out the causal effect between TCE and health issues that people were uh, saying had harmed their health. So he, uh, he gave me a, a book to study, uh, not a book, but a, some material to study. And out of that, I drew a program uh, called the TCE program, which was added to the clinic that existed there for quite a number of years. Now in that component, and that I that I helped to to run. I I, I was titled program manager, and uh, we uh, we did have outreach people that were going into the community to question folks uh, about their health and how their interest in coming into the clinic to be um, uh, seen by doctors uh, if they felt that their heart health had been harmed, and we had certain criteria within the program. Um, not just anyone came in because they, because this was free health care. But we had certain uh, guidelines, uh, such as if you lived or worked or attended schools within this area, the area of contamination, and you had to prove it by paperwork, your, your title of your home, your school, report cards, your current address, and things of that nature. And only then they would uh, they would fit into the to the program. Once they were in there, uh, we, uh, well, we would um, in, do the intake, a little history on the patient, and then uh, send them to be examined by a doctor that was uh, knowledgeable in environmental health. Uh, right before I left the clinic, uh, we were at the point of adding a second uh, part to the program that I had started, and the, the, um, the scientific part was coming in to really get down and study the um, results that we were finding through the diagnoses that the doctors at the clinic were giving. And so. They were going to study the clusters, the patterns, the illnesses, uh, the age groups, uh, ethnic-wise, um, age-wise, and, and never came to pass uh, at that time that the, the program ended because of money. Not that it wasn't available, but uh, there was some, I guess, political problems that kept us from continuing that part of the program. I had a, uh, a group of girls uh, that were called, I call the, the, uh, pr that little program, uh, it's a side program from the clinic, uh, Entre Nosotros, Among Us. And those girls would go into the community to visit and to find out what the problems, health problems were uh, with the neighbors, in the neighborhoods and stuff like that. And that would encourage more people to come in and, and get tested, or not tested, but get um, health care at the clinic and possibly refer to a specialty type of clinic. And uh, so that was by way of, that was our way of um, g involving the clinic into the community. Our clinic was helpful in uh, being a sound sounding board to people that had never spoken about how they felt. And so they came to us and they expressed how they felt and they were able to get health care uh, at no cost, pharmacy at no cost and all that. I negotiated with the people in town. Uh, 
for example, Walgreens um, was working with us in um, by a letter that I would sign off, and they would present it, and they would get their medication at no cost. Later on, Keno Hospital took over that uh, issue, that um, part of my uh, referral, and and again we were able to get specialty clinics, and we could only go so far in pricing because. Um, specialty clinics are, are quite expensive, but, you know, they would help people. And, uh, and so I want, uh, I, I'm very proud of the work that we did at El Pueblo Clinic. And uh, it's a small clinic with a big heart. <laughs> <laughs>